So when we're working with coils, uh, the table is canvas, very, very thirsty canvas. I put this clay here for five seconds and yeah. it took some water out instantly, right? Yeah. Taking water out of my clay really quickly. That, oh, that's why there's a canvas. It soaks up the moisture. It soaks up moisture and it's also nice to work on. Um, you don't want to work with clay on something perfectly smooth because it will it won't release, oh. right? So if we were to build something on the outside of this, yeah. you wouldn't be able to slide this out because of all the surface area, the moisture, it would suction into this super, super hard. Oh. So if we were working on, say, a really smooth wooden table, and it was nicely burnished, like we would have a heck of a time peeling our clay off the table. It would just be horrible. So you want to work on something porous, anything really cloth okay. works. You're adding moisture to it. To I am it. adding moisture to it. So on that, a thin piece of clay will lose its moisture faster, and we're going to be making a bunch of thin pieces of clay. So pre-wet your table so there's no real uh, risk of your clay losing too much moisture. So we want to roll a bunch of coils, basically. It doesn't really matter how you start them up. I, I might have an air bubble in that. I like to start my coils just in my hand, off the start, right? doesn't need to be pretty. When you're rolling a coil, it's very important to use as much area as you can. If I was rolling my coil just like this and not allowing the clay to make a full revolution, it's only going to get flat. Exactly, right? So you really got to follow through, let the clay make at least one full revolution. I like to just roll it all the way back, all the way forward. so thin you can't roll anything through it. Really? Yeah, these you can make these touch. What would you do with really thin stuff? 
sometimes sculptures. Uh, you can like drape a thin really? piece of plastic over things and like kind of bend it up. You can make clothes, um, you know, fabric. You can do that kind of thing with really thin. Maybe on my fifth year of this <laughs> This one, right off the back, they just put a line of dots around the bottom there. So if you wanted to do something like that, you want to make sure, or you don't want to make sure that they're all even. I would just cut off a chunk like this. Yeah. <laughs> 